It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons. And it comes your way next. Summer drawing to a close here in the southeast. The roof is closed at the wondrous Mercedes-Benz Stadium due to the hot temp still outside here in downtown Atlanta. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Atlanta Falcons. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Atlanta. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. They begin with a run by Smith. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with the defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the shotgun, they run with Smith. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, here's Smith again. And he gets it down to the 32. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This little short throw to Witten. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 15-yard line. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first down, he'll drop to throw. His pass caught at the four. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Smith is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Smith is the lone man in the backfield here as they get ready for second and goal. They'll look to throw. And this one too low. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. A very lengthy opening drive as this will be play number 12 coming on third and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And that sack brings up fourth and goal, a loss of seven. Big play. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And this one is right through. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This take it in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Matt Ryan, the longtime Falcon, a veteran who's been in the league since 08, ready to guide this Atlanta offense. And the first possession isn't until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The drive begins with a handoff to Andrews. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 
Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? He completes it right side to right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Ryan finding Julio out wide. The result only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now it's Ryan. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Again, Ryan. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. They'll try and run for the Smith, and he will have a Cowboys first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis in this first half of action. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll look to throw now on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions, even when you're taking some hits. Sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Second and five. Back to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll look to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This a 31-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0. So field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6 nothing is our count at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. 
So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. To about the 35, second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Short throw caught by Pitts. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now it's third and three. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and three. Here's Andrews. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. Meanwhile, Ryan's throw into the hands of Pitts here, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw is Ryan. Got this complete to the tight end pits. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Ryan on target to Pitts, first down, Falcons. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. On first down, Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. And that has to be a little bit discouraging because after all their halftime talk, adjustments, and points of emphasis, their first drive ends with an interception. Absolutely aggravating if you're a head coach because you spent all that time 
gone through every situation possible, and it still ends in a turnover. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. He may go. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. 70 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. They'll look to throw. That is caught. He's got it. And the lead will move to 14 to nothing. That right there makes up for that missed extra point they had after the first score. Yeah, they went ahead and got back to level by going for two and having the normal amount of points. So that works out pretty well for them. And if you're the kicker, don't worry about it too much. Now they've got back to where they want to be, he'll try it out there for the next one. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Atlanta regains possession of the football. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football. But something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. The throw over the middle taken in. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. They'll run it with Andrews. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try a mount a stand before they're backed up even further. On second down, here's Ryan. Targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Third and two, now Ryan. And he is caught. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They go play action now, Ryan. And that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons, they'll have the football but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Now a second and ten. To throw again is Ryan. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 17-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So from the 17 now, here's a first and ten. Now Ryan. Blitz coming and down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Play action. Ryan. It's complete to his big target, Crumpler. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And they run the option here on first and ten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Yeah, 
From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it again with Smith. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. The Falcons gonna use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Smith up the middle. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Hey, what we got? Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now it's Smith running right. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. 129 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, you did know. Did enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today we'll try and get you back next time but as for today you guys are nails out there so that's a wrap for charles davis i'm brandon gunn and this has been a presentation of the nfl on ea sports for more check us out at easports.com till next time we say so long from atlanta